Hey everybody, my name is Kaylin and I'm Kendall's wife and I'm going to take you guys along on what my harvest days are like. So I'll have you join me on a few different trips, places, and to different fields. <music> So what I do during harvest is deliver a lot of food <laughs> to a lot of hungry people that are working really hard and I run errands and make food <laughs> and pick people up and drive them to different fields and help them um, move places when they need to, which is great. I really love that. I love cooking and baking. It's like my favorite hobby. Um, I love being a part of this family and this farm. And shout out to the women in this family that drive equipment and totally rock it, but you will not catch me doing that. I have been tricked into it a couple of times, but I would much rather deliver food and try to figure out where people are and where I can get them their food than I would drive any equipment <laughs> on the farm. So Kendall and I live, you can't see because the sun, oh, you can. Kendall and I live here at the main farm. And so it works really well for me to kind of be in the middle of the action, get people where they need to go. People can just come inside and eat sometimes, or I bring them their food. So Come and join me on a journey of what my harvest days are like. This is Blair, our two-month-old daughter. Oh, there's your eyeballs. And she goes along with me on every single errand and meal delivery that I do. So she is loaded up and we are about to do a grocery run because we're constantly running out of food during harvest. And this is our pup Crosby. He's ready for harvest to be over so he can get a little more attention again. Currently, we are waiting for our grocery pickup order. Grocery pickup has been a lifesaver to me this fall harvest with a newborn. Um, it saved me so much time because I, whenever I'm sitting to feed her or rock her to sleep, I can just make a meal plan on my phone. And then as I'm making my meal plan, I just add the groceries to my cart. And so that works really well. And then, um, so we do our big hauls for grocery pickup. And then every few days, we go to the local grocery store and get fresh fruits, vegetables, bread, milk, and stuff like that. Here's one of my pro tips for surviving harvest and the stress of it. You get yourself a big old bag of these. Every time you do grocery pickup order, you add one of these. You don't tell anybody else about it. You keep it in a safe place and you eat from it as often as necessary. This is probably about a week supply, give or take. Windshield wiper fluid is not for the meals. I repeat, the windshield wiper fluid is not for the meals. It's for the trucks. <laughs> I try to carry the groceries inside as fast as I can while Blair stays asleep. It didn't work today. <laughs> I'm kidding you right now, okay? New plan. Try to get all the cold stuff inside while keeping her happy. Okay, so I got the cold groceries. The refrigerator and present stuff put away. Everything else is still in the car. Got the baby fed and we are headed off to shuffle people around to different fields. It's always an adventure to try and figure out exactly where they are when they tell you to come and pick them up. But this was thankfully easy. I could see them from the road, thankfully, because this is our first year ever cutting this field. <laughs> so I did not really know where I was going. Also, apparently Blair's not happy about this outing. The baby's unhappy, please hurry. Okay. We it's, are, pretty good, it's pretty good timing on my end anyways. Uh, not for me. Not for Listen you. to the baby. Just crying. So we're picking Kindle up. Turn so towards the grass, not towards the I will. stocks. So we're picking Kindle up so that he can start feeding cattle, doing chores tonight. And it's already 540 and I haven't started supper yet. That's better than me doing them in the dark. Yeah, well, I guess so that everybody's going to get a simple dinner tonight. The day really slips by real quick. Are you going to make something special? No, I didn't really know what I was going to make, to be honest. So we're going to have Sammy's. Yeah. Gotcha. <laughs> I'm super thankful for moments like this when I get to give Kindle rides because it's like the only time that we get together during harvest. Aww. <laughs> like 10 uninterrupted minutes in the car, besides the baby crying and the constant phone calls. Uninterrupted. And the constant phone calls that Kindle gets from other people in his family. Mm -hmm. I was going to make something else for supper tonight, but it's already after six and I'm just now getting to supper. And so I'm just going to make sandwiches for them tonight, 
to eat and then some cookies that you just pop in the oven real quick that I got. So we're just gonna have a quick, easy supper tonight. Sometimes I have this really big problem when I'm trying to fill up water jugs, which is that they tighten them so tight and I'm not strong enough to open them. <laughs> so sometimes I just have to go grab a different jug and then when Kendall comes home at night, be like, can you please open that jug for me for tomorrow? We freeze ice chunks in old sour cream containers. So when we put them in the jugs, it's a big chunk of ice and it keeps the water colder for longer rather than just like ice cubes. But if I run out of these, I just put ice cubes. <laughs> like this jug. <laughs> I don't know how they tighten them so tight. How do they do it? <coughs> I'll have to go get a different one. All loaded up and don't worry, we remembered the windshield wiper fluid. <laughs> Ignore the screaming baby, but this is Nathan's wife, Riley, and she works as a nurse in town, but on her evenings and days off, she helps shuffle people around and helps me deliver food. So it literally takes all of us to make harvest happen. So just to kind of give you a picture of where everybody in the family is at and what's going on. David and Kimball are back at the farm feeding cattle. So we do that two times a day, every day, no matter what time of year it is, no matter what's going on on the farm, how busy or not busy it is. Greg and Nathan are both here at this field in combines, combining beans. Brianna is driving the grain cart. Marla is hauling trucks back and forth to the elevator. And then Nathan's wife, Riley, she came in a pickup to leave for the people here to have a way back home. And then I have the food here. So it really takes all of us. We're all tired, but we're doing our best to encourage each other and all be faithful to our different roles on the farm. Say hi. hi. <laughs> they all love being on videotapes all the time. Blair's a little tired, but she is a trooper of a baby. The two of us drove a total of 80 miles today um, doing different things for fall harvest. So we are going to anxiously await daddy coming home for the night and then we will go to bed and wake up and do it again tomorrow. Oh no. Okay, we are ready for another full harvest day. They, it's about 10.30 in the morning. They're already out cutting. Um, Blair had a little bit of a she needed a little slower morning. So Riley thankfully had the day off work today. So she helped shuffle people around this morning to get started cutting. And then I need to finish putting the rest of the groceries away from yesterday because I haven't had a chance to do that yet. And then I'm gonna make lunch and hopefully have it ready somewhere close to noon. <laughs> this is how things end up getting done more days than not. Iced coffee necessary for harvest survival. Um, so we're gonna, I say we all the time because she's here, but I'm gonna whip up some tater tot casserole. Thankfully, this, the Peterson family is like the least picky eaters in the whole world. They, I mean, tater tot casserole, beef, potatoes, cheese, these are all their favorite things. If it has that, they'll eat it. <laughs> I got the casserole all ready to go in the oven and then they called to say that they're going to want their lunch a little bit later because they're about to finish a field further away and they're going to come to a field closer so I do appreciate them saving me the longer drive um, and that'll give me some time to catch up on dishes because they pile up really fast during harvest. Most like most days, Crosby come on, there's been a big change of plans. Um, we're having a little bit of a problem and so they are all going to come back here to eat, which is good for me. So I'm just keeping the casserole on warm. Come on until they arrive. And in the meantime, Blair and I are going to go pick up Kendall from a field and he's going to come back and eat first. She just spit up on me. <laughs> just another day in the life. Kendall does not like sitting still if he's already ready to go. So he always starts walking or jogging 
to me before I get there. Oh, sorry. How's the corn look? We haven't cut corn for weeks. Uh, it's been like a week. Well, this is very rare during harvest. Not only that we're eating a meal at home at the table, but that there's nobody else here eating it with us. <laughs> it's just us. In Crosby. No. Don't lick, buddy. <laughs> Well, eventually everybody came in to eat one by one. Um, so we got everybody fed. Now I had to run to town for something. Honestly, I got the best end of the deal. So I'm delivering Kendall some Dairy Queen. Blair is with her Aunt Riley. And Blair and I are hopefully going to take a little nap after this, after a long couple days, and then get supper ready for tonight. But thanks for coming along with me on my harvest journey. I am not going to turn this upside down because it got a little warm on the way back. Yeah, they did turn it upside down the at the window, though, the and it, yeah.